Today I'm packing for a trip that I am super excited about but I'm pretty apprehensive about this packing because two reasons. The first is I only have a tiny small personal item, one of those bags that has to fit on underneath the seat in front of you and the place I'm going, the weather, hmm, I'm not quite sure, could be sunny, could be cold, it's a bit of a, a weird one so I'm struggling with what to pack to be honest but let's get into it and I'll show you what I've kind of decided on think so the first thing is my bag you will probably have seen this before this is my personal item bag it's cabin max i will link it down below along with anything else that i think might be interesting to you down below i love this bag i've taken this bag away with me a few times both in this country and abroad it is the largest size bag that will fit underneath the seat in front of you in you know airlines like easyjet ryanair like the cheap budget airlines and we are flying with easyjet this fits perfectly love this bag i just don't know whether everything will fit inside it because <laughs> oh it's pretty small in terms of the trip we're doing seven days in the french riviera more specifically we're going to stay in monaco and then move along to nice and then Cannes. so that's where we will be the weather, I've been looking at the weather and usually when I go away, the weather is 30 degrees. It's just going to be hot. It's simple. It's so easy to, like just to pack a small bag when the weather is just boiling hot. It's basically just, you know, like swimwear and like strappy stuff. It's easy. But the weather there at the moment is <sighs> kind of sun, sun and cloud. There's a bit of rain forecast for one of the days that we're there and the temperatures like the lows on like i just i'm finding it really difficult to think about what i will actually wear whilst i'm there to be honest and i think possibly i've gone a little bit too summery i don't know well obviously we'll find out when i'm there but like it's like lows of about 10 but then there's highs of 20 which 20 degrees is really quite warm i've struggled i've really struggled with what to take clothes wise and i don't even think i'm just looking at it now it's all just here i'm pretty confident that it's not going to fit here i don't know i'm struggling with this packing <laughs> i really am struggling right let's get rid of this and let's let's just see what we've got and see if it can fit in in terms of shoes i think what i'm going to do is travel in these these are my tropic feel shoes I like them, I mean, I do have a bit of a problem with, they're still quite stiff. I have worn them quite a lot, but they've stayed quite stiff and it kind of rubs me a little bit, but I'm determined for them to stop rubbing me. And so I keep taking them away with me. Maybe I should wear them, like, to be honest, I don't wear them in this country. I probably should probably try and wear them in this country a little bit to kind of loosen them up so they don't rub. But I have packed some like blister stuff to help me with that maybe stupid taking them but i'm that's what i'm gonna travel in and potentially that is this is what i will just wear the whole time i'm there i am taking my like summer flip-flops with me which i mean honestly i just don't know if it's gonna be warm enough for bare feet i'm st oh i'm struggling i really am struggling with this weather i'm gonna pack them because having my feet inside shoes when it's hot is something that I really hate. And so I feel like it's worth taking them just in case, I think. I think. Right, let's just put them in. Let's put it in. What we'll do, plan of action, is we'll have the things. We'll see what fits. We may have to reassess. But yeah, travel in these. So we've got shoes. Moving on to clothes. I've got them all here laid out. We'll pack them whilst i explain my thought process this is the first item that i have got it's uh, a white uh, kind of t-shirty dress swing kind of dress um my thinking has been to pack summery style dresses but then to take with me thing it's kind of quite capsule in that so I've got maybe like four summer dresses, if they fit. Ooh, these don't go very small. Okay, let me explain my thought process. Like summer dresses plus 
like um, a pair of leggings. I may look a bit funky if I just like throw on leggings with some of these dresses, but it, like if it's cold, my idea is I can wear a summer dress, then I've got like jumpers that will go with all of the dresses. So quite capsulely in the, all the dresses go with all the jumpers and all the, I can, and then I can wear leggings with all the dresses if you understand my meaning. And then, you know, if it's warm enough, I can just wear the dress. If I need to put something warmer, like over the top, like a, a jumper or a cardigan or whatever, I can do that. That's my thinking. It could be really wrong and it could be a disaster, but that's my thinking. I've then got this, which is again just a dress. This is slightly longer. This is below the knee and a summer dress. So we'll pack, we'll pack this. These are quite chunky. To be honest, I didn't kind of realise how chunky these clothes were. But then I guess I haven't really got the pants. Oh, this is difficult. This dress I'm taking, this is maybe slightly warmer. It's got slightly longer sleeves. I love this dress, to be honest. I wear it quite a lot when it's warm in this country. So I've got this one. And then let me just show you the other dress that I've got. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I've got four dresses and this is the other one. It's got sleeves on this one, but kind of like just like three quarter length sleeves, quite short. So those are the four dresses that I've got. Then I've just got some leggings. Like I say, I think I look a bit weird putting these leggings on with the dresses, but if it's, you know, if they've gone out for the day, just don't know what else to do to be honest if you've got any ideas I obviously won't help me with for this trip because I'll have gone but if you've got any ideas for future on small packing with this type of weather like it's strange to me it's very odd but I've got some leggings that I can just keep in my day bag or whatever or I can just you know, if I if I originally go out in just a dress and a jumper then it's a bit chilly and I want to put my leggings on I can just do that I don't know that's my thinking and then I have, this is just a long, like it comes to the floor, a long beige cardigan with long sleeves. It's quite thin. That kind of goes with all of the, all of the dresses. Then I have just a little black jumper that I can just throw over the top of all of them. It's got long sleeves, day or night, whichever. I can do that and then I added this last minute I'm not sure whether this goes in terms of the neckline so I will have to check but I've got this jumper as well just to throw over the top it feels odd to me to be going on a plane and packing jumpers I don't know I don't know whether this one is overkill I'm not sure I'm gonna contemplate on that one I'll just put that over to a different side for now and then I've just got I always take this with me it's just like a, a throw over uh, a grey cardigan kind of thing so I've got that I'm gonna take I'm gonna travel wearing my uh, raincoat because it might be this is hard and then I am also going to take, so I've got my swim costume. I'm just going to take one swim costume. I don't think we'll probably be doing any swimming, but I don't want to be without it. So I'm taking it, just in case. And then, also, I've obviously got kind of underwear. Let's pack up the underwear. I've got like a little, a little, what are these called? Packing cube. Oh, this is a, what's it called one, I think? A compression one. Is it a compression? Yeah, this is a compression pattern cube. Let's try and put underwear in there. I've just got a couple of bras. I'm taking one, two, three, four. Four pairs of socks. I guess if I want to wear socks more than that, I will either have to re-wear them, wash them, <laughs> I have to figure it out. And then just knickers, seven pairs of knickers in there 
Okay, that's just, un or maybe some costume can go in there as well, actually. Let's squeeze the swimsuit in there. Underwear. I mean, even that, like, like that's just underwear and a swimsuit, and that's taken up quite a lot of space. Yikes. And then, what I've also got is, my backpacking solo black pants i love these pants they have like zippable pockets and i just i really like them i've got these because i feel like i just need to take a pair of pants i'm not sure if this is gonna fit i'm okay i've got those for now we'll see and then i have just got two these are just the same i've got a uh what color is this green <laughs> a green best top and then i've got a red one as well that i can wear with these but then i can obviously also put like a jumper or cardi over the top of that as well that's all the clothes that i have got i also have my travel towel this is not gonna fit there's just so much stuff I just can't see how this is fitting at all. Right, let's just try and squeeze this stuff into a packing cube and we'll see what happens. This isn't working. <laughs> I don't know, but wait, right, because I've got this. This is my bag, just with my clothes and shoes. It doesn't really fit. I didn't pack that jumper, there was no way. But I've still got my toiletries, my electronics. I mean, I just have to take less clothes, don't I? Let's let's be real. I just can't take all those clothes. But I mean, that isn't like a lot of clothes, really, is it? Ooh! Note to self for future: personal item only works if you're going to a hot place where all clothes can just be little clothes. When you take jumpers and things, or like warmer clothes, it just doesn't work. How much am I saving? I wonder how much I'm saving by not having a, like a, a bag that I can take on. I'll, maybe I'll check. Maybe, let me just see how much it costs to add a bag. Add extras, right? I'm on the EasyJet out. We're fine with the EasyJet if I haven't mentioned. So to add a large carbon bag is £18 for each each person each way. So it, it might be worth, I might be reassessing all of this now, it might be worth, It's my, I'm going with my son, and so it might be worth one of us taking a bag. That could be beneficial. Actually, there's so much space. Hang on. I'm just <laughs> grabbing my other bag. I'm over here. We could take... He could have his personal item bag. We could take... My... This bag. And just, like, shove all our clothes and things in. I think maybe I'm going to do that. Hmm... I need to think. Right, I am still figuring out now <laughs> what I am doing bag-wise. Like, I've put this stuff in the bigger bag. I'm thinking this might be the way to go. That's where I'm airing at the moment. But I figured I would just show you the other stuff that I am taking. And then I can, like, try to squash things in different things, see, see how it goes, because at the moment, <sighs> I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, anyway, moving on to toiletries. This was an easy, an easy section <laughs> of the packing. So in here, I have a little bag that is my liquids, and then just other toiletry stuff as well. So I have got in my other toiletry stuff, I have just got some paracetamol. I will just take some paracetamol away with me, just in case. I have some plasters, a little bit of a first aid thing as well as toiletries. I have some 
bigger like bandagey well not bandages like bigger plaster adhesive self-adhesive plaster bandage things what are they called dressings some dress surgical dressings because my son has he's been going through some stuff with like some surgery and things and so i've just taken some extra dressings for him in case he needs them washed away i'm sure he probably will i have some compied like i mentioned before i have my little toggle razor i always take this away with me it's a little venus gillette venus travel razor i think it's cute and adorable and i always just it's just in this bag all the time and it's just there for when when i'm going away um i have just like a couple of bobbles my toothbrush that has hair on it that's disgusting <laughs> and then my fold up travel bottle so that it just folds up i can fill it up when i'm away i can take it out um on like day trips and things and it just folds down really small so i love that that always comes away with me so they're kind of like the non-liquidy section of my toiletries and then in my liquidy section i have honestly i think i might take out this sun sun lotion uh but i just have a little bit what i what i generally do is if i ever stay in hotels and things and they have like little bottles i just take them and i've just got like oh just got a stash of them at the bottom of my wardrobe and then when i am going away i just go and dig out little little bottles so i've got a little bottle of conditioner little bottle of body lotion i have this is my own like face oil that i mix up with like jojoba oil and lemon oil and just different oils i've taken that for my face i have my wild deodorant it's a little like travel size wild deodorant i have a little cute mini toothpaste i have some mini shampoos that i've collected from some hotel somewhere along the way <laughs> and then I have these little sachets of conditioner that I have no idea where they come from, but I just have loads of them in, <laughs> in my little travel stash of toiletries, so I'm just going to take those away with me. This is just like a compied stick uh, that I just rub on my feet if I'm getting blisters or anything, you know, if we're doing lots of walking. And then I have packed this sun cream. I'm not going to need sun cream. I'm not, I'm not going to take it, I don't think. It's not going to be hot enough, I'm pretty sure. If it is, I can always buy some over there, but I just want to save, like, cut down as much as possible and see if I can fit in the small bag, maybe. Just, like, take out whatever I can. So, yeah, that is toiletries. Okay, I've been messing around, and my final decision is I'm going to pay the money. I'm just going to have to pay, <laughs> suck it up, pay that little bit extra to take this bag. My thought is, like, my son hasn't tried to pack yet, and my thought is that if i'm struggling with that small bag he's gonna struggle as well and so if we have this bag as well between us one hand luggage bag two personal item bags that will work like and he can put some of his things uh, some of his clothes and stuff into this bag into like the hand luggage bag and then we can have a, ha a personal item each. I really wanted to make it work just with a personal item, but there was just no way. Just was not going to happen. And that also means, actually, potentially, depending on um, if, you know, what my son, how much room my son takes up on things, but I can then, like, pack some other things, like this jumper that I couldn't, I could then potentially take my bag, although I'm not quite sure whether that's really necessary. But, yeah, I'm going to pay the extra money pay the extra money and take a hand luggage this is what we've ended up with just gonna roll with it it's costing me a little bit extra but that's fine uh, i am going to be sharing a load of content from the trip coming up in the next few weeks so subscribe if you have not already and i will see you soon bye